Joining me now with her analysis is Mary Walter, co-host of Mornings on the Mall on WMAL Radio. Mary, welcome back to the program. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to be back. As we just heard from Mark, President Trump came out swinging against the Democrats' impeachment inquiry. What are your thoughts on just how this whole inquiry has been conducted so far? Well, it's it's not really an impeachment inquiry. I mean, it's not an impeachment inquiry done the way it's ever been done before. And this is being done in secret, and people should be really concerned about this because the people who are being called to testify aren't allowed to have lawyers present. I mean, can you imagine? Uh, you're, you're not allowed to have any kind of guidance with you when you're in there because you're just supposed to be answering these questions and it's done behind closed doors and things are being leaked out selectively. Hmm. You know, and so whenever I hear there's leak, I'm like, oh, because it's something against the president. Every now and then we'll get one that is favorable to the president. You'll get, you'll get a leak out. But the fact that this is being done behind closed doors, this should be in front of the American people. We should know what's going on. We should be able to hear these testimonies and we can judge for ourselves. To that end, Republicans are planning to try to force a vote on the House floor uh, on a resolution to censure House Intelligence Chairman Adam Schiff, uh, accusing him of conveying false retelling of the phone conversation between President Trump and the Ukrainian uh, president. What, first off, do you think that'll actually happen? Will that be successful? And what impact, if anything, that will have? Well, I think it's going to happen. I think it will happen. I think it has to happen because I personally believe that Adam Schiff's out of control. And he is, he is orchestrating this entire thing. Impeachment is a power given to the House. It's not a power given to Nancy Pelosi, and it's certainly not a power given to Adam Schiff. It is a power given to the House. The House is not participating in this. Republicans aren't allowed to even question, question any of these people who are testifying. So this is a power that's being, that Adam Schiff is, and Nancy Pelosi are taking on themselves. Adam Schiff needs to be rebuked. Do I think anything will come of it? Probably not. What's it going to do? It's just a censure. So mm -hmm. what's it really going to do? It is symbolic. But impeachment symbolic, too. It's a political process. It's not a legal process. And I'm actually glad to see the Republicans finally doing something because for so often they just sit back and they're reactive instead of proactive. So I'm glad to see them starting to fight back a little bit. It makes me happy. Switching gears a little bit, because we had uh, earlier talking about Syria, we've seen some within the Republican Party speak out against the withdrawal of U.S. troops from Syria. Today we're hearing some of those troops could stay. What does that signal to you? And do you think any of this could be because of some Republican pushback against the Trump administration? You know, I, I don't know that. I, I don't know. I don't think any of us really know why there this is, is slowly shifting. I, I think the whole Middle East, Syria, that whole area is so shifting all the time. And there are so many players. And these, these divisions go back thousands of years. And trying to solve it, America trying to solve it, I think that's something that we've done very foolishly in the past. We're like, oh, well, these people want democracy. They never had democracy. They don't really, maybe don't really want democracy. They, they want their way of life. And because they're so tribal, I, I think that the fighting goes on for a really, really long time. And the president promised to bring our troops home. Mm -hmm. And that's what he keeps saying. I promise to bring my troops home. That's what he's doing. But I feel so bad for the Kurdish people. You know, my heart goes out to the Kurdish people because yeah. they're going to be slaughtered. And I, I feel terribly about that. So I don't know what the answer to this is. Far smarter people than I have to make that decision. One thing's for sure, none of it will be solved anytime soon. So we'll continue no. to follow the situation. Mary Walter, co-host of WMAL's Mornings on the Mall. Thanks so much for your analysis. Thank you for having me.